Hello and welcome back as I continue my invasion of the Byzantine Empire. It's a bit of a race against time because I'm getting old. I might want to just start assaulting. Um, but I don't want to lose too many men. Bit of a dilemma. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully, it's a part of why I went with Hunter. Gives me extra health. And I think... I forget. My hunting dog gives me extra health as well. Should help me live a little bit longer. Um, so, fingers crossed. I love that my war score is negative, uh, despite occupying so much right now. Uh, because of the, uh, ticking war score. I'm gonna want to get down there eventually and actually occupy the war goal. I might even do that relatively soon. But, you know... Occupying all this other land will first will make sure that I get it in the peace. Okay, time to go ahead and do an assault here. Get the money and spend some of my men. Uh, sure, you can be my new seer. Whatever. Um, the father had been raped by a marshal. See, I don't really want to Im imprison my, uh... <sighs> How good is my marshal, and what do I have that could... Oh, I have better marshals available. Yeah, oh... So, that'll piss some people off, but I'm getting old. And it might get me just, which is always nice. And now I have a better marshal, who I will... Oh. I should have moved my army, but now that I'm here, I'll just finish up the siege for the money. Um, you aren't interesting anymore. You go train troops. Now, as soon as I finish up the siege, actually I need to march and, you know, make sure I'm sieging somewhere else. Ugh, this war is going slower than I need it to. I might not actually be able to occupy all of the land. You know, it's too bad that uh, he didn't have the correct number of territories for me to do something like the invasion of Anatolia. But such is life. You know, even if I don't get enough that I can... You know, even if I don't occupy everything and be able to... Uh, be able to usurp the Byzantine Empire itself, well, I'll be in okay shape. Yeah, you don't need to be that either. I mean, I'll be able to use conquests to finish it up, so whatever. How are things going here? Moral authority is, uh... You know, I'm gonna want to do some conquests of the holy sites and loot some churches and stuff to get the moral authority up so I can eventually reform. But while I'll lose titles, I won't actually they won't actually leave my realm. They'll be my vassals, so it's not the end of the world if if it happens, you know, uh in my next ruler instead of my current one. And there, now I'm not losing quite so much money, but there's still a bit of the, the time crunch, because I'm 57, I mean. I could die any moment. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe I'll send my levies back and then re-raise. I don't know. I, I just don't. I would really like to, uh, for this to go faster. But, what can I do? What can I do? How's your war against Croatia going, by the way? Still losing. That's good to know. I mean, I'm just I'm slowly losing men here. Even if I don't see... Yeah, even if I don't assault. Any holdings that are still relatively... Yeah, so I should march down here. And occupy those. Let's see, 14k... Oh, 09. See, that's gonna be... Alright, so... Split them up for now. Oh, good! 
a, uh, a bishop for me to uh, ransom off. Hopefully, yeah, this one... Okay, I'll be okay there. Prisoners. Oh, right, I could ransom you. My uh, former marshal. And ransom you. That'll keep my war going a bit longer. A good bit longer, as a matter of fact. Now, honestly, I'm not sure I want them to be that split up. Um, I think it's more of just a way to make sure I don't take massive attrition. So I should have this army swing this way and help occupy that. No, I don't have any of my... Okay, I'm not paying anything for fleets. That's important. And thankfully, I mean, only a few of my vassals actually care about the whole levies thing, because most of them are Norse, unreformed. Ha ha ha. How old's Sten now? Makes me think of, uh, Dragon Age. Oh, they're trying to unoccupy this territory. I'm gonna have to relieve this, you know, siege at some point, but... Not yet. So, you know, first take care of these sieges, and then probably go ahead and just knock out Syria while I'm down here. So get Lycia, Seleucia, Lycia, and then Syria. And then kind of see where I go from there. So I don't think I'll have any more lightly defended uh, counties. Which is too bad. Yeah, I'm just slowly losing men here. Birth of the Assassins, that's... that's no good. Yeah, be gregarious. If you make it to 16 and I'm still alive, I might just execute your brother and make you the heir. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, then I'll wish I had given you Ambitious, but... You know, I'd rather not risk having to deal with your ambitions as your brother. Oh, now they're actually trying to fight me. Probably because... Now they're winning in Croatia. Well, I'll finish up uh, this siege. Then sail up there and... Re-siege that county and destroy the army. Ah... Uh, I'll even get a little extra gold for it, which isn't as big a deal. Not quite so pressing now that, uh, you know, I'm not spending so much on men because they all died. Still, still. There are horrors in this life as well, friend. But you're not going to get blotted or anything, fortunately for you, because I lack money. I really wish there were some, uh... Wasn't this recently occupied by Sicily? Yeah, so I might want to come up here at some point. And, uh, occupy that soon. So I might do that, then go re-siege these, because it'll take a while for them to get their reinforcements. Um, but on the other hand, destroying the army soon should probably be a priority. Uh, still enough to do an about another month. That's okay. I'll just keep sieging it down. There, another 12 days, and I'll be occupying this county. Oh god, yeah, now the ticking war score is really getting fast. I'm gonna have to swing over and uh, do something about that after I just So many, so many things I need to take care of in this war. It's, it's really quite annoying. Oh well. In. You might retake that for now, but then I can just, you know, easily reassault it and I believe get money for it again, which is always nice. You know. So I might have to end up thinking about how realistic it'll be for me to occupy his entire territory with just the number of men I can raise. Okay, I outnumber him two to one. Surely I'll win. By then my morale should be charged up, and I'll be good. 
I mean, I know there's planes, it's... Wait, is it planes? Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll be good. Ah. <sighs> These, uh, darn adventurers. Let's see if I can do something about him. Probably not. Another Sunborn. Ooh, a genius! Yeah, Eric Erickson. Well, if he lives a long time, I might have to, uh, hopefully I'll survive a while and I can make him my heir. Awesome. Oh, you don't got the money for it. What about you? Do you got money? Yeah, you got money. So let's march up there, destroy his army, re-siege that. There. There we go. Now I'm going to want to, uh, no matter what I do, even if I can't get the full territory, which I think is going to end up me, you know, being how things go, I'm going to want to at least connect up this territory. But we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and go for the war goal. And I think accept that I'm not going to uh, occupy the whole Byzantine Empire. Because I just... I'm running out of time here. And I'm going to have to be ready to deal with this threat. <sighs> my, my, my. Get on the boats. Sail over to Syria. And disembark when you get there. I might want to hire a few more mercenaries. I'm... I mean, my army's really taking a beating here. Or even, I mean, I would... I think I'm getting to the point where re-raising might be necessary. I just need to be careful about it. How many... Yeah, I don't think I can afford to send the men back to lower and re-raise them, but let's see... Can I raise any... Okay, that'll have to do. That'll have to do. Ugh. This isn't going to be quite the con glorious conquest I was hoping for. You know, not taking quite as much as, as would be nice. But, hey, it'll be cool. And then I'll probably get it all crusaded back from me, but hey! You know, it's more fun to do daring things like this on occasion. And if I lose too much land to a uh, crusade, then I can just use Syria or something down here as a uh, jumping off point to uh, maybe do a prepared invasion of Egypt or something. Wouldn't that be nifty? I think that would be nifty. Oh. Oh yeah, I should send my, send my spy master to help with that plot, shouldn't I? Especially because I'm not getting uh, much plot power from people joining. So let's see, where is this guy? He is in... he's the Chancellor of Ostergotland. Um, but where is he actually? At court. Alright. So... Where is... yeah, here. So, you don't lead. You help me kill this asshole. Because I don't want him to launch his little prepared invasion on me. That's just... that's just mean of him. It's my land! And he thinks he can just take it? No siree. Alright, so sail down here and, and help occupy Syria, and then... See if I can link up my territory enough that at least it's not gonna be terrible for me. Ugh, Catholic Uprising. 
And 5,000 of them? Oh my. I'm gonna have to do something about this. So win this war, then send my troops back and deal with it, and then... I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. This isn't quite the awesome prepared invasion that I'd hoped for. You know, I, I wish I were a little bit younger. And now George is getting involved. Well, well, well. We'll see how things go. I mean, if I win and then die shortly thereafter, I might, you know, as much as I hate to say it, convert to, like, orthodoxy. And then... I don't know, join the Empire and usurp it from the inside. That could be, you know, a fun little story. The uh, descendant of the Viking invader who became Emperor through intrigue. You know, I like the vassal. I like vassal play in this game a lot of the time. It's fun. You can do lots of cool little intrigue and... You know, we'll see. We'll see. Either way, I'm getting up there in years. Oh god. So once I win this, what I might have to do then is just sail back, deal with the uprising, and then keep fighting the war maybe? That could be a fun way to do it. Uh, well, I'll, I'll decide after I siege this. Alright, so that brings me up to 88%. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do now is cut this episode here, and in fact cut this entire session here, and let me know what you think. Should I carry out the war more? Try to get more counties occupied? You know, maybe in the meantime rush back and deal with this uh, Catholic uprising? Or, you know, should I just get enough war score? Um to enforce demands and take what I can get. Let me know your opinion down in the comments, and thank you for watching, have a nice day.